ACTS, A-C-T-S in Springfield, stands for Action-Centered Tutoring Services. It is a program that uh, helps an awful lot of kids in the city uh, get a better education. And uh, here to explain that for us, Bert Hansen, he is the director of ACTS, and Francine Pina Council, you're a retired teacher who's been an ACTS volunteer tutor. Now you're directing the ACTS Tutoring Center at the J.C. Williams Community Center in Springfield. We, we thank you both for spending some time with us. I'm a retired principal. Retired principal. You yes. don't want to miss that. Principal, mm -hmm. you worked very hard every That's day right. for that. I'm sorry. We, we're glad we got that right. Mm -hmm. Bert Hansen, ACTS is, I'm told, a faith-based, private, nonprofit program. You, you exist on donations and, and grants as you can get them. Right. It's been around about 30 years. You partner with Mass Mentoring Partnership. Tell me what ACTS is about and about accomplishing. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, yeah, you just pretty much said our mission statement right there, which is good. Um, and what that means on a kind of a day-to-day -day basis is that we have nine tutoring sites around the city. Uh, they're all in churches or uh, supported by churches. Uh, each site meets once a week for two hours. and. Um, during the two hours we have, uh, it breaks up into three parts. One, uh, everybody as a group comes in, we have snacks, social time, you know, if you have kids, you have to have snacks. Um, then we have an hour or more of tutoring, which uh, we focus on uh, basic skills, reading, writing, uh, arithmetic, and that's uh, paired off one-to-one -one with the children and tutors. And then at the end, uh, we have what we call club time, and that's kind of where the faith-based aspects are most, uh, most uh, noticeable, if that's the right word, uh, where we read Bible stories, get the kids uh, engaged in a conversation about that, and uh, talk about values. Um, Francine, Peanut Council, you spent a few years in the classroom and a few years in the administrative offices as a principal. Uh, I, I used to tell a friend of mine who was a, a school principal that if I had his job for more than an hour, I'd probably get arrested because of some of the things I would say and do to people. So it's a tough I job. It. I you loved, loved it. it. I really did. Good, um, good. And it's after 34 years wow. um, that I'm now retired. I've been retired for three years now. So but After um, all that work, you volunteered to go back in for free and work with ACTS, and you're now... You're a principal again, more or less, in, in a different way. You're directing their tutoring program at, at J.C. Williams Community Center. What, what brought you back? Well, actually, um, I had thought that I was not going to go back to do anything. Um, that was my choice. I just wanted to be home, enjoy, to be able to do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. But children are my heart. Um, teaching the profession is my heart and because it is um, I was asked by uh, an associate of mine actually a church friendship um, if I would consider tutoring and um, last year in particular and I said okay I'll do it on one-on-one -on -one, once a week um, it was at my church um, in the fellowship hall of my church so I said I could do that um, and so I did, and I really enjoyed it. Um, just the, being back with that one-on-one, -on -one, um, I had a first grade student, developed a relationship with her, with her family, and actually was able to see the progress. So it was something that I loved doing, so I completed the year and um, enjoyed it very much. Mm -hmm. Bert Hansen, let me ask you about the, the need for help. Who, who's getting this assistance? I mean, we know in Springfield there's a lot of kids who, who live in poverty. There's a lot of kids, uh, latchkey kids these days, mom, dad, grandparents, whoever the caregivers may be, working two, three jobs to hold body and soul together. Maybe not a lot of time to, to check homework or, or read a story. And uh, what, Is that what you're trying to address? Yeah, exactly. And some of the kids are from uh, very large families as well as those other characteristics you talked about. And um, the kids are referred to us uh, mostly through the schools, you know, through the principals in many cases, through the guidance counselors, um, kids who, uh, where we think we can offer the, the best help is kids who just need a little, that little push just to kind of get up to, to the up to their level. proficiency, right, mm -hmm. get to the next level. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's where we try to uh, focus our attention. Um, we actually do have some kids who were referred by other kids. You know, kids are in the program and they said to their friends, hey, you know, try this out. <laughs> so that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of fun when that happens too. It, it is one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. so that means you need a lot of tutor ones. Exactly. You're always looking for volunteers. <laughs> always looking for volunteers. We have, uh, right now I mentioned we have nine sites. Um, we consider a site full when there are uh, 10 students and 10 tutors. Um, right now we have about 
70 kids. So we could, in our existing structure, we could have 20 more kids. We could have 90 kids if we had 20 more tutors. Um, we can only add a kid when we add a tutor. So um, yeah, always looking for tutors. Um, and maybe I should mention there's no particular qualifications to be a tutor. Um, you don't have to be an educator, although that's great. We have several retired uh, teachers who are tutors, but we have people from all walks of life. Um, and the, the requirement is that you are a caring adult who wants to help, help out a child. Um, Francine, Peanut Council, you, you already talked a little bit about here you were, you retired, you, you worked hard for a lot of years and thought, me time, but then you said, no, I, I got to share some of me. So many times when I talk to volunteers like yourself, you know, people in the community have been active, and they say, you know, I find I'm getting more out of it than the kids to talk about that. Well, actually, um, Axe program was in um, uh, Sumner Avenue School when I was the principal at Sumner Avenue School as well. And so we um, also referred kids. And so I know how important that program and that tutorial service is to um, students. And um, like uh, Bert had stated, that you know you try to push them to the next level um, to pro towards proficiency, um, which all of the schools, we want all of the kids to reach that. And um, you know, I feel that uh, the kids feel good about themselves when they can achieve and when they've mastered um, a particular area. And so to be able to have that one-on-one -on -one with a student, with a child, um, not only, you know, you're fulfilling their emotional needs, um, uh, their spiritual needs, because we have that faith-based, as well as their academic needs. And um, just that one-on-one -on -one and then tying it over to the following week, um, uh, speaking with the parents when they come to pick them up, you know, what areas they can continue to work with them at. Um, we just see, even in the, the last three, four weeks, I have seen a change in the students that have come. You know, they started off rather shy, kind of laid back, and then once they get um, involved and they're paired up with uh, a tutor, you know, that's their friend, um, and that's who they look forward to seeing each and every week. So we're doing more than just the academics, but you're fulfilling a lot of the other needs that children need um, in going to school and feeling good about themselves and what they do. Um, and then also the pairing up is very important. And like Bert said, you know, there's no real um, high qualifications that you have to um, have. Um, we find that a lot of the students that are college students um, and their, their area, they go to a community college and they have that time in between, um, they've come and they've, they've given them of themselves to serve. And um, even the two, there's two new ones that I brought in from my church. You know, at first they were reluctant but, you know, they've told me, you know, Miss Council, I really like this. You know, I look forward to doing it. So you're not only servicing the children, you're also servicing the needs of these tutors. Excellent. Bert Hansen, real quick, I know people can't just literally show up one afternoon and say, here I am. There's a little bit of a process. Tell us uh, where they can go. you got a website. They can go and get all the information. you got about 30 yep. seconds. Okay, yeah. Our website is x86.org. Uh, we were founded in 1986. That's where the 86 comes from. Um, and there's information about the program there and uh, uh, forms. There is an application process, both for the students you know, and the tutors. And I should also mention that we also do background checks on the, on the tutors because we're obviously very conscious of the children and their, and their safety. So, um, yeah, and then if you go to our website, we have, you know, obviously we can, you can call us on the phone, send us an email, uh, however you want to do it, we're, we're, we're happy to talk to you. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Easy to remember, act 80, acts86.org. Mm -hmm. Bert Hansen, Francine Pina Council, thank you both for what you're doing for the community. Thanks for being with us here this afternoon. Thank you, thank you very you much. Thank you for having us. <laughs>